Hello and welcome to episode number 15 of Super Kali Funnelistic. My name is Christian Rauchenwald and today we're going to talk about a common saying which goes, do what you love and money will follow. I've watched an episode of Dan Locke's videos today where he also talks about that phrase in particular and I was really like um, surprised because for me do what you love and money will follow always just meant um, when you do what you love you're automatically more dedicated to it and you will work harder you will get better because you're interested in it and you will therefore be better than others and therefore money will follow because you're going to be the best in your field yeah and today watching Dan's video it really was interesting because he pointed out it actually is wrong yeah because if you do what you love money will not follow and he compares it to if you would sleep with every person that you run into you will not have a good marriage yeah so do what you love and um, you will have a good marriage more or less yeah um, or if you if you're taking a diet um, and then you you for sure don't love um, the not eating the burgers, not drinking the beer, the going to the gym, the lifting the weights, but uh, you want to have that I don't know six pack or whatever summer figure, yeah. Um, so he says it's not do what you love and money will follow, but do what it takes and money will follow. And like I don't know, like it, it's really confusing for me, like because. From, from my perspective, my understanding from do what you love and money will follow always included do what it takes. But if you do something that you love, you will automatically put in the effort required. Obviously, like recording these videos, I enjoy recording the videos themselves. Like if it's videos like this, yeah, like turn on the camera, just talk. What I don't enjoy and therefore at the moment don't do because other things are more important is like then um, editing the video, removing like the, the, the one or two seconds where I click on the start button, um, removing the end where I click on the stop button, maybe cutting out some uh, mistakes that I make during the video. Uh, maybe finding some background music, adding an intro and stuff like that. Of course, that part I don't love, but that part for now I also don't do because while some people may be like, oh my God, it's an amazing intro or something. In the end, if the content that I deliver is not worth it, it will anyway, yeah, nobody will watch long term. So, um, so like from the way I perceive it, it's it's really like when it when when I say do what you love and money will follow. I mean like if you find something like um, if you find something that you're good at that people are willing to pay for that you love doing um, that the world needs, yeah, then you will basically have found your purpose and you will be doing something that you love and you will make money because because you love it, you will not go home at five and say like not my problem anymore but you will go home at five and probably like even in your spare time um, read the newest articles about whatever it is you love like if you're into programming you will even in your spare time program a little and like follow the news about updates of whatever programming language you're you're using and stuff like that so you will become one of the best programmers in that language because you love it yeah and therefore you will be able to charge more than everybody else because you simply deliver value so I agree with Dan 100% like that that it's not it's not only do what you love and money with will follow if you love like I don't know like um, I don't know reading books you will not earn money with that yeah if you love running you probably will not earn money with that unless you do it competitive yeah and um, but I mean in general if you have a task like again the world needs it people are willing to pay for it you're good at it and you love it yeah um, then it applies from my perspective then then like because then if you are like good at it you love it um, people are willing to pay and the world needs for it it, it automatically from where I'm standing you're gonna get better at it. of course it doesn't mean that there will not be parts that you don't love for example while I love recording the videos I don't love setting up the video equipment I also don't love that I or, or there are some days where I don't want to record a video I'm not sure what to talk about yeah and um, but then like or, or there are some days like today where it's now like 10 before midnight and I'm still I haven't recorded the video during the, the day because I was recording other videos for the inner inner circle um, pages 
and so now I'm recording it. And today I'm, while I love the topic, I, I definitely don't love the recording today simply because uh, I'm already almost losing my voice from recording that much today. Yeah, but I'm still doing it. So there I fully agree with Dan Locks when he says like do what it takes because what it takes to get subscribers on YouTube, to get followers, to get people interested in like communicating and exchanging their opinions with me is to publish content. And I committed myself to publish a video every day, no matter how I feel, what I do, where I am, I will publish a video every day. Or to, to clarify, I will record a video every day, but it may be published with a day delay, but a video will be created every day and it will be released within or published within the 24 hours of recording. Yeah. So there may be, and because I'm, I'm trying to optimize the, the publishing times to when my current subscribers are most online, um, therefore it may be that one day there's no video published, but the next day there's two videos published because simply um, the algorithms tell me to that it makes more sense from my perspective. Anyway, not the point of the story. So the main point is again, um, yeah, what do you think about? What, what do you think like? about the saying, do what you love and money will follow. I totally understand and agree with Dan Locke that it for a lot of things, it simply is wrong, but I never thought about those things. I always thought about it as me as an ent entrepreneur and a, a programmer, software developer, marketing specialist. I always thought I love those things and that's why I get paid more than other people get. Yeah, and it, it is true for me, like for that area, because it's like a high demand area. Um, I love it. Other people just try to do it for the money. I study a lot about it. So I know more than not everybody then, but no more than the average person does in that area. And therefore I get paid more. I can charge more or I have more success with my own projects because I know more and because I enjoy it more. Yeah. Um, but I never considered it from another aspect. If I don't know if somebody likes to teach, well, and he becomes a teacher, of course, money doesn't follow. Yeah, he may have a stable income, but he will not become rich from being a teacher. Yeah, unless he's good with money and invests whatever he earns or a lot of what he earns. Yeah, um, if somebody likes to, I don't know, like look after kids or something um, and becomes like uh, starts working in a kindergarten or something. Well, they will also do what they love, but it will also not make a lot of money. So I totally understand it. But it was actually to me like watching the video and listening to Dan Locke telling me that that's wrong was actually shocking because I was so sure that I'm 100% right. But now, um, especially like um, talking about it, I really realized that I was just too narrow minded. I just focused on the saying in my like in my area of life in what I do and in what I do it applies to a certain extent yeah or it actually applies fully but of course it goes like but you still need to do the stuff you don't love as well yeah I cannot for example maybe maybe I don't like to talk with clients on the phone yeah but if I don't do that I don't have clients without clients I don't have money so it doesn't matter if I love what I'm doing yeah so so it also also includes you have to do the stuff that you don't love so actually I had or by now I, I really have to realize that then log really is 100% accurate. It's not do what you love and money will follow it. It's do what it takes. And um, if you remember like or seen one of my previous videos or listen to the previous podcast, you will know that we talked about the consistency is a huge aspect of being successful. And like me recording those videos, even though it's already midnight or even though maybe I already feel like oh I've recorded so much already today and I'm, I'm doing it because I committed myself to it so I create a habit and I'm following this habit and like I, I can see like based on the view times and subscribers and uh, likes that it's like um, how to say that it's like working slowly yeah um, and I, I, I know that the moment I stop uploading a video or I find an excuse why I cannot yeah um, is the moment where I will fail or where like so they they like I don't know anyway so the thing is like what's your take like what what's your how do you how do you um, or what do you think do what you love and money will follow means do you like one hundred percent agree with Dan Locks uh, uh, 
perspective and my new understanding that it actually is wrong and it should be do what it takes and money will follow or um do you do you disagree with that opinion and think like no it's like really do what you love and money will follow um yeah please leave your opinion and feedback in the comments below if there's a comment function function if not check out my other social media profiles on my youtube channel if you're listening to this as a podcast or watching it on facebook and leave your comments there and i'm curious yeah also if you have any other common sayings about success or something that you're curious about how i would interpret them leave them in the comments be below and i will like once i have time make a video about it so that said thank you for watching and have a great day talk to you soon bye bye